channel, Uncle's family channel. Today we're going to make our homemade pizza. My wife forced me to do this. She said I'm the best one to make pizza. And for this occasion, she got me a special outfit today that I'm wearing. I will turn just one time to see how it looks like, okay? Maybe you will not like it, maybe it's not appropriate for the kids under age of 16. And please, if you're under 16, just cover your eyes. Ready? Okay. As, like I said, we are going to make a pizza. For the beginning, we need a little bit of warm water. We need a dry yeast. We need the salt, we need the sugar, we need the oil, and we need the water. Okay, first we will start version with the we put warm water. Since my water is too hot, I need a little bit of water. Don't do it like me, okay? Just make sure your water is warm. Not too hot, not too cold. Okay, now it's perfect. My lovely wife will bring you one spoon for me, please. Chef wants to make pizza, but Chef needs to forget the spoon. Okay, here we have a dry yeast. Also, if you don't have a right dry yeast, you can use a fresh one. We will add some dry yeast, but before I add the yeast, I will add a one spoon of sugar. Sugar is a active food for the yeast. Okay, I will add one spoon of sugar, and then I will add two not full spoon of dry yeast. And you can just leave this for a few minutes. You will see the yeast will start creating uh, bubbles. If there is no bubbles, that means your yeast is old. And you can throw it and then start with the fresh yeast. Okay, we will wait this yeast for a few minutes. And then here. Here I have a two and a half Mods like this on the floor. I'll put it here. If you like your pizza to be more salty, you can add more. I will add my hands. Add some salt. Salt. I still have to wait a few more minutes to see if the. Then you can add uh, olive oil. This one, I don't have olive oil, I will use the red oil cooking oil. You can just add like uh, six, six spoons. Okay. Just mix it a bit. And then, as you can see, there is some bubbles here on my yeast. Then I will add this one all together here with the floor and the salt and the water. You can prepare your dough with a spoon or you can do it by hand. Here seems I have to add more flour. I think it's total around 450 or 500 grams of flour. I'm more comfy with uh, doing dough with hands. Just after a minute, I'll pull out the dough on the table. Now 
Okay, now I will pull out the laundry table. Before you do that, you can put some floor on the surface where you are making your dough. When you put floor, it will not be sticky, the dough will not stick for the surface. Okay, this is our dough for the pizza. And if you are not sure for how many minutes you need to work on your dough, you can set up the timer maybe for about 10 minutes. If you think your dough is too soft, you can add a little bit more floor. What I told you guys, if you want to find out if your dough is ready, just when you press the dough, the dough should come out, it springs back. Okay, our dough is ready. Then before we put our dough to rise, I will put in the same. Do it like this on your hands, just put a little bit of oil on your dough, and you can put it back here to rise. As you can see, the dough is ready, and then we have to leave this dough for at least one hour to rise. You can cover it with a plastic bag or with a cloth, I will use the cotton cloth and cover it. You can leave it in the room temperature or this is one hour or more and then in the meanwhile we are waiting our dough to rise I will prepare ingredients necessary for the pizza okay here we have uh, necessary ingredients for the pizza here we have some ham we have a hot dog we have a tomato sauce if you don't have a tomato sauce you can use a regular ketchup and here if you don't have a ham or hot dog you can use any kind of sausage, any kind of even meat, you can put on the top of your pizza. And here we have a cheese. In our case, we use the Eden cheese here in the Philippines. It's really one of the best cheese here and it's very affordable. Okay, first we'll start with the ham.
direction. My wife and my sister-in-law, they forced me to start making pizza earlier, even though it's not 100% ready. But I think it's ready for the ready to probably good, I'm sure. Okay, before we pull out dough, we just put it to the floor on the table on the surface we're using. Then we can we can cut this dough maybe give it tip. Maybe we can make the pizza from this dough that I make. And I forgot one thing, mushrooms, we have a mushrooms, just my lovely wife will go and bring mushrooms for me, please, please, please. Okay, before we add cheese, my wife, she will cut the mushrooms. Because of this heat, we forgot about mushrooms. Okay, if you want to bring my wife to bring mushrooms, I will... Take a break and drink coca 
Voila, and I'll be here to show you my outfit. My wife, she cannot find the mushrooms. Oh, I know why, she cannot reach. You cannot reach? It's right there, in front of you on the right side. My God, she got it. I thought she's she's blind, but she got it. Okay, small one, okay. It's a, okay, small one. But if you make two, maybe you need a bigger one. Okay, open small one. My God, Paul is really the best. No Coca-Cola, no life. Like here, no rice, no power, no bread, no life. Okay, pizza will be almost ready. Mushrooms are on the way, on the way. Thank you very much, my love. Okay, we have the mushrooms here. We are using the, the mushrooms from the can. If you have a fresh one, Please feel free to use that one. As I mentioned earlier, this pizza is very affordable. It's around 400, 400 pesos, around $8. And I think it will be perfect. Stop, my love. Stop. Too much. Okay, we are almost done with cooking mushrooms. Our first pizza is almost done. Now we will put the even cheese. My wife and my sister in law they like more cheese. Me, so so. Like I said, like I mentioned earlier, the total ingredients for this pizza is around 400 pesos, but not only one pizza. From these ingredients and the dough I prepared, today we will make three pizzas. show you first pizza it's ready ready to put first pizza for baking but as you can see here we are using Tanabishi it's like a microwave oven it's very good very fast and most of the people here in the Philippines they are using this Tanabishi microwave oven okay let's put this mm, I'm sure it will be perfect okay I will put on the 250 and I will put about 15 minutes. is still in the oven it's almost done maybe two minutes more and this is the second one the heart shape my wife she requested heart shape pizza and this is the one and finally first pizza is done
<laughs> okay. Um, our second pizza is done. It's a heart shaped pizza. It's special for my lovely wife. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see. She's lovely. Okay, one more remaining. Guys, stay with us and thank you one more time for watching our channel. This is our final pizza, but I was lucky. I had a helper and there is a third pizza. That was so we think and together we finished. We finally for today, everything is complete. Today we managed to make made three pizza. As I said, three pizza, only 400 pesos. Love you all guys. Thank you one more time for watching our channel and See you in our next video. We love you. Good night. Mm -hmm.